What is up you guys, Jerry Seinfeld here bringing you a new video. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. If you guys don't know, I just love Vice so fucking much. It's like the greatest channel on YouTube. They're what really made me start doing commentaries. And today is another special day because we have another special Vice video for you guys. How to rent property. Without anything else getting in the way, let's just get right into this video, you guys. Don't send us photos of your dick. We don't want to see that unless we're getting paid. That is non-consensual and no one cares. Well, how else are you supposed to know what it looks like? Hell, if I had to, I probably couldn't pick my dick out of a lineup. This shit's hard to fucking find. Hell, it looks just like everyone else's. It isn't like a fucking vagina where you got like fucking lips going out this way or it's tucked in or like fucking the hoods up or you know, maybe the trunks pop. I mean like dicks is a dick. It's just one shape. Maybe it has a little bit of skin on it, maybe it doesn't, that's it. If you have half a brain cell and don't know what a fucking escort is, just think of it as a sex toy that you rent that other people have probably already been in and used before and probably haven't cleaned either. Like these escorts, they really go through the rough, man. They really get some miles on them. It's hard to find a fresh brand new escort that still has that new escort smell to it. Do read people's ad copy or websites. Almost all of the answers to your questions will be there. So do I return the sex toy back to its rightful place or do I just throw it out the fucking window once I'm done? I mean like, hey, either we can be modern with this shit or we can go way back to like the 1700s where niggas just threw their shit out the window whenever they fucking done shitting into a fucking pot. And if someone says no to you, it's no. Well, you see, whenever you pay for a product, no one can refuse to give you the product they paid you for or else that's fraud. So whenever I give you the money, you can't say no. Fucking sex toys out here nowadays want to act like they got rights or some shit. Do not speak explicitly via email or text. Obviously, that's not a smart idea when you're doing an activity that is uh, frowned upon by the law. What the hell do you mean don't speak explicitly through text? If fucking law comes after me, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, man, I was just hitting up this girl like seeing if she wanted to chill and I, you know, maybe give me some head, give me a little bit of tail. Like, bitch, we, you ain't selling weed, you're fucking selling your pussy. And we fucking record it, we can just say, hey, we're making a fucking porno. And that's perfectly legal. So at this point, you have no argument at all for why I can't see you this fucking dick pic and tell you how much I want to donkey fuck the shit out of you. Definitely not the how much for a blowjob and blah blah blah. Like just basically spelling out illegal activities that is so sketchy. Damn, like Jesus fuck. It's almost like the FBI doesn't give a fuck if you are spelling out illegal activities if you're not on their fucking list at all of people to look at. It's almost like they can't watch everyone at one time and shit slips through the cracks. I'm pretty sure Half of the fucking United States right now would be in prison if it was just going based off of how much for this or how much for that. Oh, bro, how much for a gram? Hey, yo, mama, how much for head? And I'm like, nigga, everyone does it every day. The cops aren't going after everyone that's doing a legal activity that doesn't hurt anyone. So always use the golden rule. If I ain't get caught and no one saw me, I ain't do shit. I ain't say shit. I ain't done shit. It's always best to provide all the information that's asked for in the first email. That would be your name if that person screens, which I do. I definitely have like code of conduct that work for me and I do not speak for other sex workers. I would love to see her little code of comp. She probably has like a little handbook or pamphlet that she fucking hands out to people before they fucking all have sex or that she just emails to people. She's like, all right, you gotta follow these rules. Oh, make sure you read it. If you could print out the last page, sign it and date it, and then fax it back to me, then I'll get back to you about the fucking, you know, illegal activities that we're about to fucking do. Who the fuck has a code of conduct when they're have, doing an illegal activity? No fucking pile dryers. <laughs> Kisses must be on the lips only, and you must have full eye contact with me at all times. For sure. Do not negotiate our rates. Cash is always green. Dogs bark, cats meow, cows moo, horses neigh, 
these are all basic things that everyone knows yes we know cash is green that's you know the color of them you know usually in america and then in certain other parts of the world cash is usually green i mean like i don't know what you have any foreigners coming over here trying to fuck you and give you some pesos or some shit but i think most americans get the concept of money is the color of green we're not fucking five-year-olds here if we are then you're a fucking pedophile ma'am and we're really gonna have to get the law involved if you are We've taken the time to get ready for you and to set up time for you, and it takes a lot of time to do this. <laughs> you should take the time to go to the bank like a big boy. Bitch, we fucking, we ain't going on a date? The fuck you mean? Look like this. Bitch, you ain't going nowhere past the front door of your hotel room down by the fuck you in, because we ain't going back to mine. Like, bitch, like, what the fuck you mean to get ready to look like this? Bitch, you can fucking look ugly as fuck just as long as the lights are off and you're turned around. I think most of your customers will just be fine. I don't think they're giving two fucks about how you really look. I mean, you pay for a product. It doesn't mean the product has to look really good. It may be a little damaged, so you reduce the price a little bit. So, you know, it looks a little bit more tempting to other people. I've had people show up just assuming that I took PayPal payments. PayPal is notorious for shutting down sex workers and you can cancel a payment right after. Sounds like, A, you need to become a big girl and get a bank account. And it sounds like, B, don't let PayPal know that you're a sex worker. And I think everything's gonna be A-OK -okay with your account on fucking PayPal. If they don't know, they don't care. They're like, oh shit, money's coming in? We're living the fucking life. It's like, they're not gonna go through every fucking account and be like, hmm, we gotta cross check this with some of her social media, make sure she's not a sex worker. No, they're gonna be like, oh, no one said anything to us. We're ignorant to it. Just as long as the money keeps rolling in. Not paying a sex worker is rape. You've tricked someone into having sex with you. That is not a true consent. That's, that's not how rape works. If I tell a woman that I'm a billionaire to get her to have sex with me, that's not rape. That's not rape because guess what? It is consensual. He didn't trick. Yeah, he may have tricked you, but guess what? We're gonna tell. What are you gonna go? We're gonna do. You're gonna go tell the police. Oh, I was fucking this. Oh, I was fucking this guy, and he didn't pay me. And he's just like, oh, so what you're saying is you're a prostitute. Put your hands behind your back. No, you're not gonna say shit. The guy doesn't pay your shit out of luck unless you have a pimp that's gonna beat his ass. And bitch, looking at you, looks like you're a fucking feminist. Looks like you ain't got no damn pimp. So it's like you're shit out of luck. Because the law says unless you're mentally fucking handicapped or inebriated, if you say yes and if you don't say no throughout the whole thing, that's consensual. It doesn't matter if he pays you or not. The law has nothing about sex workers getting fucking paid unless you're in like Las Vegas or some shit, then yeah. If you're in a place that actually has it legalized, then yeah, you could actually get in trouble for not paying the sex worker. But everywhere else that is not legal, it's the Wild West, baby. You can get fucked and niggas be like, oh, where's the money? In my ass. And this nigga can run all the way out and butt ass naked. You can't do shit about it. A lot of us will offer you a shower when you come in. Don't decline. That's so rude. <laughs> That's rude though. That's rude. This bitch is stupid. It's like, nigga, not everyone has time to take a shower whenever they're about to go fucking cheat on someone or do an illegal activity. I'm sorry. Whenever I go to my weed, he's like, all right, man, just hold on. Let me let me wipe down this whole bag of weed with this sanitary wipe so if you get caught, they can't chase it back to me. It's like, nigga, we ain't got time for that. Nigga, hand my shit. I'll hand you your shit and we out. It's like, god damn, bitch, you fucking trying to prolong this shit? Like, I'm about to make some sweet love to you. Like, we about to listen to some Barry White. You fucking about to turn the lights down low. We about to start making I was like, no, nah, bitch. Get in the bed, and this is gonna be, and that's it. Three strokes, and I'm out. We've showered and like are about to get really intimate with you. That's like the least you can do. Again, we fucking not making love. I don't give a fuck how I smell, bitch. I ain't about to take you on a date and marry your ass. Like after this, I ain't ever gonna see your ass again unless I'm coming back for the service. Don't make dead hooker jokes. Oh, there's the SJW in her, the fucking feminist. Oh, you can't joke. You can't joke about this. The goddamn Joker Nazi. You can't make jokes around her now. Like, oh, we, yeah, you gotta take a shower. You gotta read my code of conduct. You gotta pay me in cash. 
you can't make no jokes. It's like, bitch, what the fuck? Nigga, we ain't in no serious relationship. I don't respect you. It's like, nigga, you don't shut the fuck up and bend over. It's like, God damn, I'll tell all the jokes I want to. You get paid, ain't you? If you're interested in any kind of BDSM, you must talk about this before. So I can't just show up in my all black latex suit with a fucking gimp mask on and a fucking ball gag in my mouth with a chain around my throat. Is that what you're saying? Because if you are, I think that's discrimination, ma'am. Can't believe she's discriminating against people that are into BDSM like this. I don't have to tell you shit. If I want to show it to your place with a ball gag in my mouth and a fucking anal plug in my ass, I'm going to do that. Communicate. Do not make assumptions. Very long time ago, had someone like hit me in the face in the middle of session. <laughs> This nigga Ray writes their ass in the middle of the stage like, yeah, 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 you like that bitch? Yeah, yeah, who's your daddy? I'm your daddy. Damn, this nigga really into some fucking kinky ass shit. That ain't BDSM. That's, that's straight up domestic violence. This man said, fuck it, I'm going straight in and beating this bitch's ass. He was probably beating, yo, he was probably beating her ass like one of those suckers in GTA 5 when she was done fucking and won your money back. Bitch, that pussy was dry. Real try. You are not buying a person. You are not buying a body. You're you're renting a sex toy. That's all you're doing. It has already been used and abused and has a shit ton of mileage on it. All you have to do is come in, use it, and leave. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. You can't take it home. You can't show it off to your friends. Once you're done with a sex toy, there's no need to clean it. It's self-sufficient. It cleans itself. You can just do the rest. Once you're done, just get up and walk out. And that's how you rent property. But other than that, enjoy your sex toy. And other than that, you guys, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on notification bell. And also, drop a comment. What would you guys like to see next? If you guys have any suggestions, just drop a link. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.